What's good, YouTube? Jay Jones here, and today we're going to break down the KD-16. Hey, hey, look. I'm sorry for the wait, but I had to make sure the KD-16 was straight. I had to make sure. I just didn't want to get them and put a, put that information out there. I had to take a little time. Now we back on the ground. Let's get into it. Starting right off, the first thing I want to talk about on the KD-16 is the traction, which, which actually was pretty solid. I'm going to be real with y'all. The KD-16 features a multi-directional, translucent, design-based traction pattern with a little extra spike around the edges for additional coverage. Now we know translucent outsoles can kind of be hit or miss, but on these, it was hitting, I ain't gonna lie, squeaky squeak, it was hitting, okay KD. I put them on Clay Rush recording, shout out to my brody Clay, and he was like, yo, I ain't gonna lie, you can hear the squeak on those, like you can hear how well they sound on the court, like you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> And that's never a bad look in my opinion. I also like the additional coverage and wrapping around the sneaker as well. You see you have the translucent part right here, but then you got that outer, that outer wrapping right here, which in my opinion is a great touch. So again, right in here, this like the pie. This your regular pie, but then out here, mm-hmm. That's your crust. Hey, don't sleep on that crust. That crust will come back. Hey, that crust will save you. But again, this is basketball. We are hoopers, so just be sure to wipe as necessary, and then you should be good. You'll be able to plant, cut, hoop, spin. You good, man. Trust me on that. Now let's break down the materials real quick. The KD-16 features a combination of mesh and synthetic leathers. The mesh you see on the top of the sneaker is breathable and flexible, which makes this shoe feel complete on foot. I mean, I recommend a little break-in time, but nothing too major, at least for the materials. It's nothing too major. But that's kind of been KD's style. Find a shoe that can easily come out the box, that can easily mold to your foot and get a bucket. It's KD's style. That's what KD does. You see how they, you see this? The synthetic leather is a proven material choice. You can't go wrong with that. Hey, just a newer shoe. If you need something that's gonna mold to your foot, uh, you like the material choice and like how these look, hey, that KD-16 might be a good option for you. The cushion on the KD-16 is about what I expected as well. It's comfortable. Not a lot of court feel was present, but it is there. This is usually what you get from a KD sneaker. Zoom air unit in the forefoot and a reduced strobo setup in the back to complete this setup. Now in the 16, I feel like you get a little less court feel than you do in the KD 15, but it's still enjoyable and still felt pretty complete on foot. Now we talked about how the synthetic leather and the mesh took minimal break-in time, but to me, me personally, I would probably spend majority of my time trying to break in the cushion. The cushion may feel a little firm initially, but really emphasize trying to break these in, really spend some time playing in these because I think the more that you play in them, the more you'll find that cushion to kind of form to you and it'll just be more comfortable overall. For me, I don't think I'm heavy enough to really apply the force to be able to get the most out of this setup. That doesn't make the, the setup bad. It's just not the most ideal for a player like myself. Again, like we talked about, I kind of want to be lower to the ground. And don't get it twisted. If this was the only shoe that I had in, in the whip and I still needed to get to a bucket, hey. I gotta lace them up and do what I do. Court, hey, extra court feel or not. When it's time to drop 20, I ain't thinking about this. So, so it can work, but it comes down to preference. It comes down to what you feel good in. And again, it's vers it's a versatile enough setup to feel good in it, but I think certain players will feel better in it. Now the fit and the lockdown we have to talk about as well. When it comes to fit, when it comes to lockdown, you know I'm always looking for the J. Jones one-to-one -one fit. You know that jerk. Although the top seems a bit more round and wider, these actually fit pretty snug overall. Me personally, I would try these on first before purchasing. That's just me. I kind of don't mind my sneakers being this tight, but for some, they may find this to be a bit uncomfortable, so be sure to do your homework. Hey, it's gonna be some people out there. The KD-16 is just a little too tight on my big toe. Try on that half a size first in the stores. It's gonna be some KD-16s available. Try them on, and then you can get the correct sizing from there. You're gonna be straight, I promise. In addition to the snug fit, you do have a standard heel counter to keep that heel in place when playing. Another proven quality that should help with overall containment on the KD-16. But again, if it's one recommendation, man, try them on first. That's all you need to do, try them on. But I feel if you get the proper shoe sizing with these type of qualities, hey, I think you can really rock out in that 16. I ain't gonna lie. 
I ain't gonna lie, I think you might be straight. Overall, the KD-16 is exactly what I imagined it to be. A well-rounded, versatile sneaker. My big guards should like this. My wings, y'all should like this even more. And my traditional big man, hey, if you can slide them feet and you pretty light on your toes, grabbing them boards and doing everything you need to do, there's enough cushioning in there to protect you as well. What that, what you call that, jerks? That's versatility, jerks. Proven material combo with the mesh and flexible synthetics. Nice traction even with it being translucent. Hey, I took it to multiple floors. Squeaky, okay, KD. You got my attention. Noticeable cushion with impact protection and minimal court feel. The shoe kind of gives off that premium look, that premium feel to it to me. Hey, hey, can't ask for much more than that. Man, if any of these qualities fit your game, hey. Ain't gonna lie. Hello? You might want to check these out. My only advice would be to try these on for an adequate fit. They may be a little too snug, a little too tight for you. So make sure you got a, a nice little foot lock, a nice little JD Sports finish line in your area. Hey, you got the KD? Hey, can I? You got the KD 16 in stock? Okay, I'm on my way because I'm coming to try them on because Jay Jones said so. They gonna mess with you. They gonna be like, oh, that's Jay. Well, they might kick you out. <laughs> Just try them on, try them on first. Also keep in mind that it's not as low, it's not as light as like that Bron 20 or that Kobe file like we talked about in the past. But hey, remember, it is KD. And when you talk about KD, you know you're talking about one of the best. So automatically, the shoe will come with some heat. But that's all for me, man. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for listening. Again, my apologies for taking so long. But hey, if you want to keep up with me, be sure to follow me on Instagram, all social media platforms at Jones. Hey, look, I showed off multiple KDs on the gram. I brought these out. I brought these out. I brought these out. I'm not gonna lie. This is one of my favorite KDs of all time. From colorway to feel, this joint. If you don't see me on the tube, I'm probably on the gram. So tap in with me at I am Jay Jones, man. Show me a little love. I can't get brand deals without you. So lock in with me. Like, comment, share the content, subscribe. Hey, I need it. You want me around or not? Because they trying to get rid of me. It's been years. They've been trying to X me out. But guess what I do? I never fold. Which means, hey, go to neverfold.shop as well. <laughs> neverfold.shop. Get your graffiti shirts. We got a few in stock, man. I'm telling you, it increases your attributes. If you want a crossover, <laughs> it take it to here. You going to be right here. I'm telling you. Hey, buy in, man. New tees dropping soon. Y'all know that. And until the next one, I'll see you. Tap in with me. Peace, jerks. I'm out. Peace. Yay! On the night I was born, the rain was pouring. God was crying. Lightning struck. Power out. His sparks was flying. Hey, I was geeking. That KD-16 straight. Of course, there's some other ones that you know what I'm saying that feel a little better. But if you want to see a, a little brief of my collection, just look on, the, look on the gram. I've been doing this thing where I've been teasing. I've been kind of teasing that next performance test. With, with the pics. Again, these crazy. I ain't even show y'all these. Y'all probably don't even remember these. Ooh, that little photo of the game joint. When I actually met KD and I made these for little Bradley too. These still hard. Tap in with me, man. I can't. Hey, hey. I love y'all. Y'all stay up, man. My vitamin. Why the vitamin? I'm out. Peace.